Hello, my name's John, and this is my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey. And we want to give a big shout out to all the ladies out there, all the mothers. Happy Mother's Day from our type medical family to yours. You guys are the backbone, influential nurturers of your family and of your child's life. And we want to give you a special shout out today. Super, super special shout out, especially to all the moms that work full-time jobs, even the ones that don't work full-time jobs and you're a full-time mom at home, that's still a full-time job. You guys have to take care of your husbands, you guys have to take care of the kids, laundry, cooking, cleaning, and I could probably list and continue going on and on and on, but it's a special day and just a tribute just for us moms. And you know, it's we wanted to tell you guys how much we love you guys and how much you guys are appreciated. So. Big ups to all the moms out there and Tight Medical Center loves you guys. Enjoy your day. What's up guys here, a beautiful Saturday in Tampa Bay. It's a beautiful day out, no clouds in the sky. Yeah. You know what, we finally got a little bit of time to get away. We got some friends in town. You know what, we're like, what can we do today? We got our friends here at Water, big shout out to Mike Piper, Corey Arena, and all the Pipe Piper crew. And bringing in one of our good friends, and one of our favorite DJs. Oh, yes, that's Say right. Say who's And you guys might have seen him at our Gasparilla party and other things that we've done. Big shout out to Cedric. And he's gonna rock it here very shortly. He always rocks it. So we're out here just chilling. We got all part of Cabana. We got plenty of food here. And uh, we'll show you what's going on here a little bit outside. Let's walk here. Of course, we got all of our the great food, food here. The food. Anything you possibly want. Some good, some bad, whatever you like. We got some more good friends here. We got to meet Mariana for the first time, which is my best friend Eric here's girl. What up, what up? What's going on? Yeah. Right. Back in the mix, we're here. <laughs> Straight from Chicago. So we brought down Mariana the first time to meet us. Big shout out to Mariana. She's like, man, who are these crazy people? What's going on here? So let's just go out here. We'll check this out too as well. So we've got everybody that's out here rocking, and this is just an early, uh, early view because this thing don't really start till about another hour or two. So a lot of people here enjoying the weather. I'm here to get a suntan. Enjoy this with my beautiful wife. Some some, some good times and some good music. I love good music. Right? Good music is always good for the soul. It is, it is, it definitely is. So we're gonna be here for a couple hours, follow along with our journey. You guys are gonna love what you see, I promise. It's all about balance. Go out, have some fun, you can dance, listen to some good music, and just enjoy it. You burn calories doing that, so it's an active activity, right? Dance, dance, so, so come dance. Up, let's dance, let's eat some good food, and let's enjoy some great times with our friends and make more memories. Follow along, tight lifestyle in full effect. Let's go. So guys, we're finishing up the day here. It was a beautiful, gorgeous sunny day here in Tampa. Absolutely. Hot water, so big shout out to Pied Piper Productions and our man, Senator Gervais, for rocking it. We truly rock it, right? He, he always kills it, but he killed it today for sure. It's really good just to be out here with my beautiful wife, getting some awesome sun right out here, and listen to some good music. Yeah, pretty good too, I guess. Maybe, uh, you know. We might have cheated a little bit here or there. But that's okay. Life's about balance. And that's what we want to show you in events like this. So you can go out, have a good time. You're allowed to enjoy your life. Of you only course. have one life to live. So you're allowed to enjoy it. Enjoy the people around you. Yes. And enjoy music. And yes. enjoy the sun. And yes. enjoy meeting new people. And enjoy catching up with your friends. Yes. That's what it's about. It's all about that. It's all, you know. Dancing is uh, burning calories, so you're actually exercising as you do it too as hey, well. Hey, so I exercise then? I'm good? Exercise. For the whole week then. Vitamin D. I, mean, no, I don't no, have no. to work oh, out no, good. No. I'm not saying it's going to replace your exercise plan, but it helps. It's just an added cherry on top, right? So uh, we're going to listen to the rest of this set from Cedric, and then we're going to be heading out. 
and maybe going out to dinner or maybe just going home. I don't know. We appreciate you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that went on here at Water, St. Gervais, Tight Medical Center. And uh, we're out of here. Sexy John from Tight. Later, guys. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Tight Medical Movie Review. Just, just for, for you. you. Right? Yeah, just for you guys. And this week, we got to see a Guy Ritchie film, The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. And this had Henry Cavelli in it, and it had Alan Richardson Superman. in it. Superman. These are two guys you know. One, one guy played Superman, and the other guy plays Reacher uh, on, on Prime. So if you don't know who that is, you guys can go check it out. And if you guys don't know who Superman was in the last Justice League and all that, check it out. Please give John all the credit plugs for all of these shows and movies. Thank you so much. Great movies. Great. So, all right, we got to go see Guy Ritchie film, and usually Guy Ritchie always comes through. Yeah. I mean, from his TV shows to his movies. And um, this one was really, really good. It was based on a true story, which is super cool. I love seeing movies that are based on a true story and actually show the characters at the end of who these people really were. And at this point, this was um, the British... Special Forces, like their first mission ever. It's the first time they ever put these Special Forces together. It was an unsanctioned mission. And these guys were just out to destroy. Destroy everything uh, about the Nazis. And they had a specific mission in this movie, which you guys will get to see. And uh, they accomplished that mission, I think. Yeah. And at that point, like, they did a lot of killing on the way. I mean, there was a lot of Nazis that died in this. Well, so, I just like the killing. <laughs> I mean, the killing and the violence was great, and it was good violence. You know, there's sometimes there's violence, but it's not good yeah. killing. Yeah, yeah. This was good killing. It was. It was definitely good killing. There was knives, guns, bombs. I mean, you name it, you probably see it in here and getting killed. And there was a lot, like I said, there was a lot of good good stuff in this movie. Agreed. Had a, had a great storyline. Cinematography is always on point with Guy Ritchie and the way he transitions to some of these places or things when he does in the movie is just ridiculous. So um, big shout to him. I'm going to give this out of five stars. I'm definitely going to give this like maybe a 4.3 out of 5. I thought it was going to the 4s. Um, yeah, it was definitely worth it. Like I said, this movie was, it, 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 it didn't let me down. It didn't disappoint, which Guy Ritchie never does. But at that point, like the characters in it were really good. Um, Henry Cavelli plays an awesome, and Al Richardson, Richardson, I think he stole the show in some of these scenes um, be, because of what he is and the force he is um, when he gets on the screen. So, yeah, 4.3 for me. Definitely, uh, I think it's, it's definitely worthy to go see. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to rate this movie very well, too, because it was a lot of violence, a lot of killing. Storyline was great. They had one female in it. She's super awesome, and she's a super, super badass in a lot of other movies, so she carries that title very well. My star review is going to be a 3.7. Ooh, that's pretty 3. good 3.7 for, for me is really good. The only reason it didn't make its way into the fours is because I'm not a history kind of gal. So I don't, you know, like, I just... You would have been eating sausages and sauerkraut if, if this didn't happen. You know, my history classes really pertained of me writing all the answers on my inner thigh and making sure I got A's on every test. She has no idea about <laughs> American history. That's okay. Please, teach your kids American history. All the matters so we don't, is we repeat don't repeat the history. It. But how can you repeat it? You know you read it and know what's going on. You know, you just find somebody, find, some, find someone like John <laughs> that knows all the history and make sure that they guide you through life. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so you heard it from us. 4.3 to 3.7 from me, my dear four streets here. Um, and I, I, like I said, I think the movie kicked butt all the way through and through. I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, no matter who you are, older, younger, I, I think this is me for everybody. So yeah, minus go out, children. Go out and see the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Uh, another Guy Ritchie film, Henry Cavalli, Alan Richardson, and you guys will have a great time. Go see it. Let us know in the comments what you thought about our review or what you thought about the movie if you went and gone see it. So another tight medical movie review. We'll see you guys next time at the movies. See you then. John here from Titan, and today I want to talk about anti-aging. What is anti-aging, and how can Titan Medical Center help you with anti-aging, right? So let's talk about this. Anti-aging, well, it's pretty self-explanatory. Anti-aging is lessening or preventing the aging factor, which you're gonna go through in life, no matter what. We're here on this planet, we grow, we live, right, and we die. It's cold hard facts, right? But what can we do to really slow down this effect? So anti-aging can come in a number of different forms, right? 
We wanna make sure that we don't age with our skin. We wanna make sure we don't age with our hair. We wanna make sure we don't age internally, right? And with our body overall, okay? So anti-aging can come in a lot of different forms. Anti-aging is really there for you to help prevent, you know, the aging process. So at that point, you might see all different variations of these anti-aging things. So you have different things out there that you can get over the counter. Like you can get different skin creams, right? They have different skin creams that will help you not wrinkle as much, right? You have anti-aging um, therapies that can help you as far as like uh, cold or when you get into a cryo unit, they say that's good for anti-aging purposes. Um, they have different lasers that can help with skin as far as that goes with anti-aging. Um, but really, what can Titan Medical Center do for you to help anti-aging? And we have a lot of different options on the table to really help you anti-age. And anti-aging really comes from internally, right? Internally, we start aging and we don't see this, but we do see the outside as it reflects. And some of the different things that make us age are hormones. Hormones um, can decrease over time as we age, and this can cause all these different variations to happen to you on the outside. For instance, we get gray hair. This is a form of aging, right? And we get wrinkles on our skin. That's a form of aging. Now, some people look at this and they say, listen, I'm just gonna be able to do the outside things to make sure that it doesn't look like I've aged too much. Whether it be plastic surgery, or they get Botox, fillers, all these different things. But the key to anti-aging is really internally. Now with these different things, especially hormones, we wanna look at like growth hormone in our body. Now growth hormone in our body really does provide the anti-aging tip, right? So growth hormone is produced in our body and it produces IGF-1 and IGF-1 is then converted into the liver. And at that point, that's where these really aging benefits really come from. Now over time, like I told you, we decline in hormones, especially in growth hormone and these other hormones like testosterone, progesterone, estrogen, and so on. And with this, then comes the withering part. So like a flower, right? It grows real strong and then it withers and it dies. That's kind of like us. So at that point, we really want to look at these different hormones to make sure that they're optimized, taking them back to the younger years of where they were. Think about it. When you were 20 years old, your hormones are probably at the most optimal level and that's probably the best you looked and the best you felt. Now, as you got older, you start you know, noticing these different things like why is my skin starting to sag or why is this happening to my face and I'm wrinkling all over or why am I losing my hair or why is it turning gray? Now, we always have to look at these different things internally. Now, some of these things, listen, it's a part of life. It's going to happen eventually but there are special therapies that we do have that will definitely slow down the aging process for you. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me all the time, they're like, listen, how old are you? I tell them I'm 40 years old. Like, man, you look like you're 30, 30's in there, right? Now, I don't think so, but other people do. And people that I've seen that are younger than me, they don't, they look maybe older, right? So they don't look maybe as good. So you wanna make sure that you can take care of yourself. This is really the key too. So eating properly is, is gonna be a great thing for anti-aging, right? Taking care of yourself all the way around. Um, so at that point, you wanna make sure you get an exercise and activity in. This is another one, sleep, right? Sleep is another big one out there that will help with anti-aging because if you don't sleep, you're gonna really wear yourself down. You're burning the candle at both ends. And this will, you know, this will reflect on your body, you know? And at that point, you don't want that to happen. But the therapies that we offer, like CJC-1295 with Lymphorelin, it's an oral GHRH peptide that can help with anti-aging purposes. And we have a number of other ones that we can help out with. Even prescribe skin creams or skin regimen treatments that can help you. So if you're looking for anti-aging, right? Look at doing the best you can for yourself. You're eating good, you're exercising, you're getting enough water in your system, right? That's what the eating portion and you're getting enough sleep, right? You're not going to sleep deprivation or running yourself down every day in and out. You don't want that. After that, you got to make sure your blood test and make sure your blood test all the right, correct things that you're supposed to do as far as hormones, vital organs, maybe vitamins, aminos, just to make sure you know where these things are at and if they need to be optimized or need to be raised, maybe they're deficient or on the decline, you can do that by looking at the blood test. And you can do that with Titan Medical Center. 
We'll look at all these different things for you. We'll guide you through the process to make sure that we can slow down the aging process as much as you possibly can. And you look the best you possibly can for as long as you can, right? So these are just some tips and tricks from here at Tight Medical Center for you guys to look for and to tell you how we can help you out with the anti-aging process. So don't be scared, don't get mad, don't get sad. Everybody's gonna age, but how well you age is really what counts. So guys, contact us today if you wanna do an anti-aging therapy or wanna learn more about our process. The phone number, call or text 727-389-3220, or you can always look at all the great information and some videos on our website www.tightmedicalcenter.com. I appreciate it, guys. I'll be back with more tips and tricks to help you guys with your process of aging the best you possibly can. Thanks, guys. Become tight and strong. Call or text us today at 727-389-3220. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. And I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcut. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, gonna... what's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful wife right here, I bring you guys great tips, tricks, and information that will hopefully ignite, excite, and take your relationship to a whole new healthy and positive level. And if you're single, don't worry because you guys can get this information, store it, and utilize it for your future relationship, right? So, uh, you know, every week we're just talking about some cool stuff. Uh, we think it is. <laughs> Obviously, it's going to be hopefully valuable to you and something you can utilize and take with you and be able to, like I said, put it into the new relationship that you're going to be in or apply it to the relationship that you're already in. Yeah, always. All the topics we talk about, I think at some point you can apply it. Yeah, right? I mean, to a certain extent. It's all extent, valuable. Right? Yeah, it's all valuable. Everything we talk about is valuable. And, you know, this information that we get is not just something we just pull proof out of a, a random air. Um, you know, this is stuff that we've went through or we've seen people go through. Mm -hmm. um, and at that point, just, you know, we want to give you guys the cheat codes, the shortcuts, so you don't have to go through so much trial and tribulation. Heartache. Yeah, right? And all those other speed bumps that come along with relationships and love and all that grand stuff. So this week, uh, you know, we were talking about some different topics. And you know, one one came to light because, listen, over the time that we've been together, we've seen a lot of couples come together and then dissipate and separate. So at that point, like you know, the question is, is what makes somebody fall out of love, right? Because you have a lot of people that fall in love pretty quickly, mm -hmm. um, but what separates them? What what makes them fall apart, basically, right? And I guess there's a lot of different things there's that we cover in this, yeah. right? Um, but, you know, it's just, you know, one thing for me, I, I guess, would say, like, you know, over time, people could grow apart. And whether this is because maybe somebody is working too much or, um, I don't know, just at that point, like, wanting to do things by themselves, maybe, without their partner. Um, I don't know. Maybe they think the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. And at that point, they think that maybe I should go over there and leave this pasture behind. Um, you know, all these different things, you know, and there could be more, right? But at that point, you know, when we really start diving into this and I really start asking like some of my friends, like, hey, listen, what went wrong? You know, did you do something? Did she do something? And, you know, it's been a wide variety of different answers from no, like they cheated on me and like, I can't be That's this a relationship hot topic. no more. That's a hot topic. Right? And yeah. then there's a lot of people out there that are doing these things because it's easier than ever to cheat. You know, you have different apps where you swipe and left, swipe and right. You meeting know, in parking lots or whatever you guys rendezvous, are doing Rendezvous, wherever the, you're going to rendezvous at <laughs> with these, these strangers or, or new people. Weird. Um, and at that point, like, that is one thing that really drives a lot of couples to break up. And then you have different things, like financial situations. That, I mean, that was a big one for my parents. I mean, right. that, that, I mean, I made sure that whatever took place with me and John, that that was going to be, like, a, a thing that I did not fight about because that's all my parents fought about. You know, and it's, 
it's really easy to fight about something like this um, because maybe one partner thinks that they're doing more than the other as far as I'm the breadwinner and you're not. And, you know, I'm going to spend the money how I want to spend it. Or you have the other partner, like, I'll spend it on whatever I want to spend it on. And then at that point, you guys are like not on the same page. Or your, or your partner spends money on something and doesn't tell you about it. That's a pretty big one. And then you find out about it and you're like, why didn't you tell me? Like it could be something, you know, let's say you, you they lend money to their brother or lend money to a friend or whatever it is. That's usually a hot ticket item. Yeah. Um, it's not usually good them going into a store and buying a pair of shoes. At least they have something tangible. But when the money is gone and you're like, okay, where was this? And why don't we have it for this? Or why don't I have it for that? Um, and they're like, oh, well, so-and-so needed this. So I got, and you're like, wait a minute. Well, why didn't you run that past me? Or like, why don't I know about that? Yeah. That blows up very quickly. Yeah. And you can't like take it back. Yeah, no, you, you can't take it back. And like, I've literally seen some of these different things in my parents' relationship as I was growing up. Mm -hmm. I remember literally, oh like, and, you know, it's not like it is now. Like, back in the day, if you wrote a check for something, boom. Right? <laughs> you know you about it for a while. <laughs> you had a credit card statement every month. You didn't get to see real time, online, what was taken out of your bank account, what was charged, or anything like that. And, you know, I'm throwing my money at the bus, but <laughs> she did this a couple times to my dad. Where, you know, she went out, she bought a boat. A boat. Right? I mean, she didn't buy shoes. Yeah. She didn't go and yeah. buy a couple items. A new items, purse. A, new no, 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 a like Louis, Louis Vuitton purse. Um, she went and bought a boat. Yeah. She, you know, she went and bought a boat, you know, <laughs> and there's a couple other things that she bought in the past, cars and stuff like that. Would not <laughs> tell my dad, right? And I specifically, you know, on the boat thing, I did tell my dad because I knew about it. I felt, you know, bad and I didn't want to betray my mom, but... This is something that I thought my dad should know about. Oh, boy. Uh, and I did tell my dad, hey, listen, don't want to check the checkbook because, <laughs> you know, this did happen. You know, and, and God bless, you know, it, it didn't put us in the poor house or anything like that. So it wasn't like something like, oh, like, was it the boat or was it food or paying the rent? It wasn't like that. So no. God bless about it. But it's something that, you know, you're holding back from your partner. And this is something that should be a decision by both of you guys. If you guys are having shared bank accounts and such that at least you let them know, hey, listen, I'm going to go out and do this. Whether you like it or not, but at least I'm letting you know, right? Mm -hmm. Something on that those lines or, you know, ask them, like, hey, listen, do you think it's a good idea? Even if they don't think it is, you know, maybe they should support you on buying it. If you guys can afford it and you guys are hanging your hat where you can't reach. Right. Uh, you know, that's the other big thing, yeah. right? Because a lot of people do that. You know, a lot of people are credit card based. There's more credit card debt than ever right now. It's the highest that people have ever had it. And that's because people are using their credit card. And it's easy to use a credit card or write a check. Because it's not money coming out of your pocket. Right. You don't feel it. You don't see it at that point. It's real simple and easy. So like invisible money. And then when that credit card statement comes, it it just smack in the face. <laughs> Bam! Reality, right in the gut. Right. I, I know this. <laughs> um, so this is this is another way where I think couples really get Bro. a lot of trouble. And at that point, this can put a lot of damage to a relationship and make relationships break up. And then when you go through the breakup process, if you're married, then you're splitting your items. And you're, you're going through a whole nother fight right there. Okay. So that's that's another big one for me um, that I've seen. Um, I mean, it, I mean, at the end of the day, you have like your you have your bullets, right? So like people fall out of love because they get interested in doing different things. Like you know, luckily me and John, you know, we love each other to the core. So at the end of the day, we would do anything for each other. I'm sure I'm speaking on his behalf too. But you know, not everybody is built on that true love at the very beginning, right? right. So if you don't have that like like true love, like soul, like down to the very core soul of the person, mm -hmm. you may not try as hard to fight, kick and scream for your relationship, right? Mm -hmm. And that's that's what ultimately leads to people, you know, falling off the beating path, you know, whether it's sexually, you mm -hmm. know, sometimes people go apart sexually, you know, and they're not, you know, doing their duties per se. You know, now, now, now you're not having, you know, whatever fun time for two, three months at a time, which is super not normal, just so you guys know that. Mm -hmm. Not normal. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it can be communication where you're not communicating with each other. Like, and let's say one partner is feeling disrespected or is feeling like maybe you're belittling them or that you're, you're treating them some type of way. Unless you voice that, then all that happens is over a period of time, that person just builds up resentment for you. And then it just builds and builds and builds and builds. And sometimes the resentment itself makes the relationship. The yeah, yeah, it does. It causes the riff. Yeah. So it's like, you know, these are the things that you need to just keep intact and communication. We bring it up in every single episode. But being able to talk to each other about, hey, listen, you know, this is bothering me. Or, hey, I want to go do this. Um, I want to experience that. You know, like when, you, when you're with somebody for so long, like me and John, like we've been together for 16 years, right? 
you start getting to a point where like, okay, we've had all these fun things happen. We went on dates. We went to movies. We've done this. And you're like, all right, cool. Like, all right, we're going to get old together, right? So like, what are we going to do? Like, I want to do something with you fun, you know? Like, or I want to, it could be anything. It could be going to, to Germany or it could be having a baby or it could be, who knows? It could, I mean, me and John go on many journeys here. So, you know, things change and we, you know, as long as when things change, you guys are communicating your changes with each other and then adapting to the change together, that I think is the true key because people change over years, right? And, you know, goals sometimes even change over years and people's, what they want to do with their life changes over years. So if you are at least communicating with, you know, the individual that you're with Mm -hmm. and letting them know like, hey, this is what I'm thinking or this is what I want to do, at least, you know, your significant other knows that you guys are on the same page. Because if you don't, if you don't let them know, like, this is what I'm thinking or this is what I want to do or, you know, this has changed from 10 years ago, then how are you guys supposed to meet each other at the halfway point? The halfway point is the key. Got to meet each other at the halfway point. It's not all about him. It's definitely not all about me. You know, it's mostly about our kid. But I mean, at the end of the day, you got to meet each other at the halfway point. I think being on the same page, so that, that's almost meeting each other at the halfway point, but being on the same page about what you want to do, what your goals are, what you guys are trying to achieve, you know, what, really what makes you happy. Um, at that point, if, if you can get on the same page and you can be there with your partner, you're going to have a very successful relationship. And obviously, you want to be there and support your partner sexually, emotionally, physically, all the way around. Um, and if you're missing some of these parts, then it could cause maybe a little bit of damage with your partner um, because you're not there fully for them, right? And that's what you should be. You know, you're two people in a relationship, but in that relationship, you're one entity, mm-hmm. right? You're working together, not against each other. So at that point, that's what it's really about. Listen, this is happening to people every day falling out of relationships, and you don't want that to happen to your relationship, whether you're in it now or you're going to be in a future one. So set yourself up for success. Know these things in the beginning and be able to implement these things right off the bat. And if you can be f- like straight up and forward with your, your, your new relationship partner right away and tell them these things, I think you guys will have a great start. Mm-hmm. If you guys are in a relationship and maybe listen to things that went south and stuff like that, it, it, it's not over until it's over. So at that point, give 110% to really get on the same page, to get with your partner and maybe mend some things that have not been going so well and focus on the things that have been going well and create that relationship to grow back stronger like an oak tree. Yeah. Right? Like an oak tree. Like an oak tree. So that's it for this week's Cupid's Corner. You guys can catch us every week on ABC at 11 a.m. Um, for the Type Medical Cellar Health and Lifestyle Show. And at that point, listen, if you guys don't can't watch it live, <laughs> DVR it. Or you guys can watch on YouTube or any of our social media platforms. So uh, we're here for you guys. We're going to be continuing these great tips, tricks, and information for you guys. So stay tuned for another Cupid's Corner next Sunday at 11 a.m. See you then.